The expanded Baird Convention Center project is expected to have a grand opening in May, but it's already delivering dividends on key metrics. Let's talk about it tonight with James Mathieu, who oversees economic inclusion at the project for the Gilbane Building Company. Thanks, James, for being here. So let's talk about this amazing new building, state-of-the-art facility that's going to showcase the city to visitors. Your role has been to help to connect disadvantaged businesses, meaning minorities, women, and disabled veterans businesses to this project. How'd it go? I think it's going very well. For us, we know the goal on the project is 31% altogether, and to be north of 43% is an amazing thing. It's no easy feat, it's consistent outreach, consistently working with contractors, but it's definitely rewarding. So what does that mean when you say you hit that percentage mark? You found companies that were able to do this work that fit these categories, these metrics? Absolutely. So we were able to get 25% minority-owned business enterprises on the project, really north of 17% women-owned business enterprises on the project, and we're approaching 1% on the disabled veteran businesses, which is great. So another key goal here for you, and I know you're a guy born and raised in Milwaukee, was to find people who live and work in the city of Milwaukee to be on this project. What was that challenge like, and were you able to meet that goal? Definitely able to meet that goal. North of 40% right now at 44.3% RPP. And it's a unique challenge, you know, just being born and raised in the city of Milwaukee. You have to meet people where they are. You have to get them interested in construction, recruit them, train them up, and then get them on the project. Why do you think that is important in such a high profile project? Well, with the trades, we have a lot of folks that will be retiring in the next handful of years. We have to refill the pipeline, Charles, and one way to do that is go directly into the neighborhoods on the north side and the south side and make sure we say, hey, this is a family sustaining career. It's just opening eyes. So made in Milwaukee, built in Milwaukee. Absolutely. James, thanks for being at the table. Thank you for having me, Charles.